happy that H.S. Sri Swami Ramana Charana Sirthaji Maharaj, who was Sri Nochur Venkat Ramanji in his Purvasram, he will be giving a discourse on Manisha Panchakam for three days. And uh, our Swamiji Maharaj as uh, Sri Nochur Venkat Ramanji he had been kind enough to come to our ashram and also give discourses on other subjects, on Bhagavatam and other things, on uh, a few occasions in the past. And it was all very nice. So we are all very happy that Achyasri Swami Ramacharana Tirthaji Maharaj, he has uh, been kind enough to come to our ashram and he will be giving discourse on Manisha Panchakam. It will be for three days, <coughs> beginning from today up to 9th November, in the same night satsang here. And uh, <coughs> our revered Swamiji Maharaj, as Sri Venkat Ramanji, in his Purvasram, he had given us very nice discourses on different uh, topics different subjects. It was very illuminating and also very enlightening. So it, it was very highly beneficial to all of us. So our again good fortune that our Sri Swamiji Maharaj, Sri Swami Ramana Charana, Ramana Charana Tirthaji Maharaj, he, we now extend a very hearty welcome, a hearty and warm welcome to our ashram. and. Uh, we, our revered Sri Swami Padman Abhanaji Maharaj, who is the General Secretary of our ashram, he will uh, honor our revered Sri Swamiji Maharaj by garlanding. <coughs> Very hearty welcome, Swamiji Maharaj, to you to our ashram. And uh, we re request our revered Sri Swamiji Maharaj, that's a Sri Swami Ramana Charana Tirthaji Maharaj, to kindly <coughs> favor us with his discourse. It will be for three days. It will be on Manisha Panchakam for three days, at the same time every day. For Thank you very much. Om Namaf Paramarishipyo Namaf Paramarishipya Hari Om Yasyantar nadi madhyam nahi karacharanam Nama gotram na sutram No jati neva vannana bhavadi purusho nana pumsam na chastri Nakaram no vikaram nahi jani maranam nasti punyam na papam Tatum no tatumikam sahaja samarasam sadgurum tam namami Sada Shiva Samaram Bham Shankarachar Yamadhyamam Asmadachar Yabaryantam Vande Guru Param Param Mauna Vyakya Prakatita Parabram Hatatum Yuvanam Varshishtante Vasadr Shiganai Ravratam Brahmanishtehi Acharyendram Karagalitachin Mudramananda Rupam Swatma Ramam Muditavadanam Dakshina Murtimide 
ವೇದಾಂತಾರ್ಥ ವಿಭಾಸಕಾಯೇತೇ ಶಾಂತಾಯ ಸನ್ಯಾಸಿನಿ ನಾನಾವಾದಿನಗೇಂದ್ರ ಸಂಘ ಪವಯೇ ಯೋಗೀಂದ್ರ ವಂದ್ಯಾಯ ಮೋಹಧ್ವಾಂತ ದಿವಾಕರ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದಿಭ್ರತೆ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಭಾಷ್ಯ ಕೃತ ನಮೋಸ್ತು ಸತತ ಪೂರ್ಣಾಯ ಬೋಧಾತ್ಮನೆ ಅಪಾರ ಸಚ್ಚಿತ್ ಸುಖವಾರಿರಾಶೇ ಯೋರ್ಮಿ ಮಾತ್ರ ಭುವನ ಸಮಸ್ತ ಗುಹಾಹಿತ ತಂ ರಮಣ ಗಭೀರ ಚಿಂತಾವಿಹೀನ ಹೃದಯ ಚಿಂತೆಯ ದೇಹಂ ಮೃಣ್ಮಯವಜ್ಜಡಾತ್ಮಕಮಹಂ ಬುದ್ಧಿರ್ನ ತಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತೋ ನಾಹಂ ತತ್ತದಭಾವಸುಪ್ತಿಸಮೇ ಸಿದ್ಧಾತ್ಮಸದ್ಭಾವತ ಕೋಹಂ ಭಾವಯುತ ಕುತೋ ವರಧಿಯ ದೃಷ್ಟ್ವಾತ್ಮನಿಷ್ಠಾತ್ಮನ ಸೋಹಂ ಸ್ಫೂರ್ತಿತೆಯ ಅರುಣಾಚಲ ಶಿವ ಪೂರ್ಣೋ ವಿಭಾತಿ ಸ್ವಯಂ ಯೋಂತ ಪ್ರವಿಶ್ಯ ಮಮವಾಚ ಇಮಾಂ ಪ್ರಸುಪ್ತ ಸಂಜೀವಯತ್ಯಖಿಲ ಶಕ್ತಿಧರ ಸ್ವಧಾಂ ಅನ್ಯಾಂ ಸಹಸ್ತಚರಣಶ್ರವಣತ್ವಗಾದೀನ್ ಪ್ರಾಣಾನ್ನಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ಪುರುಷಾಯತುಭ್ಯಂ ಯಸ್ಮಾಜ್ಜಾತ ಜಗತ್ಸರ್ವ ಯಸ್ವಿನ್ನೇವ ಪ್ರಲೀಯತೆ ಏನೇದ ಧಾರ್ಯತೆ ಚೈವ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಜ್ಞಾನಾತ್ಮನೆ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರುತ್ಯರ್ಥಗೋಚರ ವಂದೇ ವಾಚ್ಯಾರ್ಥ ನಾಮಗೋಚರ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಯಾರ್ಥವಪುಷ ವಂದೇ ಶಂಕರ ದೇಶಿಕ ಗುರು ಪ್ರಣಾಮಷ್ಟು ಆಲ್ ದ ಸೀನ್ಸ್ ವೈವ್ ಅಸೆಂಬಲ್ಡ್ ಇಯರ್ ಬೈ ದ ಗ್ರೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಶಿವಾನಂಜಿ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಟುಡೇ ಆನ್ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ for 3 days we are having a contemplation on shankara bhagavat pada acharyas a small work manisha panchakam we all especially those who have taken to the path of sanyasa are always we have we have all come in the parampara of bhagavad pada acharya so before entering the work we have to just do a small meditation on sankaracharya one of the greatest teachers of bhagavatam in last uh, century akhandananda saraswati ji maharaj of vrindavan when he came to ambatur in south and he was having a ayurveda chikitsa treatment in ayurveda pharmacy coimbatore then the devotees there they asked maharaj should we do something for you but i said please take me towards kerala in a car his health was very poor so they drove him towards kerala and they just 
uh, entered the state border, Agandan Saraswati Maharaj asked them to stop. His health was very poor, he was not in a state to travel much, but he got down from the car and did a Dandavada Namaskara there and took the dust and put it in his head and said, this is the sacred bhumi which gave birth to Bhagavan Bhashyakara. So I just wanted to touch the earth. Now we can go back. So he didn't even actually enter Kerala then. But it was just a demonstration of bhakti to Acharya Bhagavad Pada Shankaracharya. So all of us, Shivanji Maharaj also, we are all, have come in the Shankaracharya Parampara. And regarding Shankaracharya's birth, the story of Shankaracharya comes in Shankara Vijayam. There is a beautiful verse which says, why did Shankaracharya come to earth and who was he? And Shankara Vijayam says, Shiva as Dakshinamurti remained in Maunam, in silence. And great sages like Sanaka, Sanantana, Sanat Kumara, Sanatana, they were all sitting before him. There was no teaching, no verbal teaching. Chitram Vadatarol Mule Vridha Shishya Guru Yuvam. Gurostu maunam vyakhyanam shishyastu chinna samshayaha. The Guru was not giving any verbal teaching, it was simply maunam, it was silence. And that silence was so eloquent, so profound, that all those elderly disciples, those great seers, sages who were sitting there, all their doubts were removed. And Shankaracharya says, Chitram, this is the greatest wondrous picture. Vatatar Ormule, the young sage, sits there as Dakshinamurti. And all his disciples, they were all very austere people, sages, rishis. And all their doubts were removed. Bhidyade hridaya granthihi chidyande sarvasam shayaha. Chiyande jasya karumani tasmindrishte paravare. All the doubts were cut asunder. The knot of ignorance was removed. The jiva bhava is no more there. And all their mind was in samadhi, in nirvikalpa samadhi. Vikalpa means doubt. The Jiva Bhava, it is not there. It's pure Maunam. So that Dakshinamurti, Shankaravijaya says, came down as Shankaracharya. Ajnanantar gahanapatitanam Atma vidyopadeshaihi tratum lokan bhavadava shikhata papapachyamanan Muktva maunam vadavidabino mulato nishpatanti Shambhor murti charati bhuvane shankara charya rupa Shambhoho murti charati bhuvane shankara charya rupa That murti of Shambhu, that form of Shiva, came down as shankara charya, as the great acharya, and walked the earth. The entire length and breadth from Kanyakumari to Kashmir, everywhere he travelled. And every Tirtha Kshetra, he made Tirtha Kshetra. And so many were liberated. Ignorance was removed, Atma Jnana was transmitted, the knowledge of the Self was transmitted. So for that Shiva came down, as Shankaracharya says, Shankaravijyam. Anandagiri, Shankaracharya's direct disciple, 
This is another name is Totakacharya. He sings, Bhavayeva Bhavaniti me nitaram samajayata cheta sikautu kita. Mamavara yamoham hajalathim bhava shankara de shikame sharanam. Shankara is my refuge. The story is very beautiful because Shankaracharya was moving about. From Kashi he went to Badri, from Badri he went to Mahishmati, from Mahishmati he was travelling down south. And in one place a young boy, very devoted, joined the, that group, that itinerary of Shankaracharya. And he was so devoted to Guru. He was serving the master and all other disciples of the master with so much bhakti, but he was not a scholarly person. He was not educated like other disciples of Shankaracharya. But Shankaracharya every day saw to it that every day he will have a partha class. So all his disciples will be sitting, he will be speaking on the Upanishad. But he will not start the class without Giri arriving. So all other disciples, they used to think, why should we wait for him? He will not understand anything. He is not equipped with sufficient Shastra Jnana to understand Vedanta. So why should we wait for him? But Shankaracharya every day will wait for Giri because Giri will be always late. He will be serving everyone. He will be washing clothes. He will be cleaning for them. He will be preparing food for them sometimes. So always he will be late but Shankaracharya will wait. So one day it happened in Shingari on the bank of Tunga river. Everyone was waiting for Shankaracharya to speak. And the Acharya was simply sitting silent, not uttering anything. Then Padmapada Acharya asked, O Bhagavad Pada, why we are today not starting the class, the Patha? Bhagavad Pada said, Giri has not arrived. And they looked, he was washing the clothes in Tunga river. Giri has not arrived. And another disciple suddenly, a spurt of sometimes, you know, the arrogance or ego or what can we say, expressing our own views, opinion. Suddenly it came out and he said, why should we wait for him? Even if he comes, he will not understand. Then, Acharya looked at him, oh, all of you understand, by your power, by your intellect, okay. Then he just closed his eyes and sat in profound samadhi. And Giri, who was washing the cloth in the river, suddenly got affected by it. The Shakti Pada happened. It's just like clouds moving away from the sun. The splendorous sun shining like that, Giri had the Sakshatkara, the realization of the Self. And he stood in that state for some few minutes, but he was much more concerned about his Guru Seva. He thought, I have to go back. So he took the clothes and came to the place where Shankaracharya and his disciples were sitting. Seeing his face radiant with Brahma Tejas, Sureshwaracharya said, See, he had Brahma Jnana. He is so fortunate, blessed, he had got it now. It is very remarkable, we can see in his face that he has attained it. 
and he came and fell flat before shankar bhagavat pada and sang a song from that song only i took this verse vidita khila shastra sudha jaladhe mahitopanishad kathita artha nidhe hridaye kalaye bimalam charanam bhava shankara deshikame sharanam this totakashtakam eight verses these verses are all in totaka meter when he sang that song shankaracharya put his hand on his head and said are you have now become totakacharya from today onwards you will be known as totakacharya and he wrote another verse work on vedanta also go shruti sara samudranam which our shivananda ashram has published as book the very beautiful name for that book is revelation of the ever revealed and the commentary is written by swami durmana ji maharaj so that is shruti sara samudranam the entire work is in totaka meter so this is totaka charya so he says see when a guru can transmit gnanam so easily that guru is none other than shiva paramadvait vignanam kripaya vai dadadi aham soyam guruvar sakshat shiva eva na samshaya sureshwara acharya says a guru who can transmit that advaita gnana the knowledge of the non dual self by pure grace as bhagavan ramana maharshi used to do it simply by silence in that maunam many got it like this muruganar one of bhagavan's disciples he says bhagavan did not even give me time to close my eyes before that the thing was over because brahma gnana is so simple it is just like we are wearing the spectacle the glasses and sometimes we will search for the glass through the glass we will be looking through the glass and seeking where i kept where i kept and someone comes it is there right in your face so, oh I, you, with shame you look I, i was missing something so simple so intimate so direct like that is self knowledge because the shruti says you are directly immediately experiencing the atman as your own being as your own aham aham i i the only confusion is you think that it is the body it is the mind it is the ego it is the senses <coughs> and guru vedanta shravana is only for this that this body is not me the senses are not me the buddhi is not me and when everything is removed what remains as pure consciousness is me that which is satchidananda existence awareness and peace shanti ananda that is my real nature and that recognition that pratyabhijna happens like in a trice so for that is vedanta shravana in his lifetime shankaracharya has given us so many works sometimes you know great works are born they are not written many great works are born even valmiki wrote ramayana from a sorrow one day the sage was moving about in the forest suddenly he saw two birds very intimately sitting somewhere one arrow came and hit one bird and it fell down it was dying seeing that suddenly total identity came to the sage on one side there was suffering that shoka that sadness was there on the other side it became anger also a little bit towards that hunter who sent the arrow to him valmiki said manishad pratishtham tamagama 
you will not attain peace of mind somebody is sitting there in full joy happiness you want to kill you will not attain that joy and while uttering the curse sage saw from within that the words are pouring forth as poem it was not in the prose form it was in poetic form padabaddho akshara samaha तंत्रीलय समन्वितः शोकार्थस्य प्रवृत्तो मे श्लोको भवतु नान्यता ऑल दो इट कम्स फ्रॉम शोका इट इज बिकम श्लोका शोक श्लोकत्वमागत सो लाइक दैट व्हेन देर इज पेन फॉर ए सेज इट कम्स आउट एज पॉयम व्हेन देर इज जॉय फॉर ए सेज इट कम्स आउट एज व्हेन देर इज रेवलेशन इट कम्स आउट एज पॉयम such works are born they are not created bhagwan ramana maharshi wrote akshara manamala like that somebody was requesting 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 he said what is there to write nothing one day they were for going for giri pradakshina and one devotee said bhagwan the connection that you have with arunachala why don't you write it and bhagwan looked at arunachala tears came to his eyes and you wrote arunachalam just that five lettered word and from there the song came 108 songs arunachalam and aghamen inai power ahattai vera rupaya arunachala the moment you meditate on arunachala the ego the i is gone the jiva bhava the agnana is removed so thus he started writing and 108 verses came like that is this manisha panchakam also very beautiful very profound it contains all the four mahavakyas in it there is a very famous story behind this we know the life of shankara as a small boy from kerala walked to see his master govinda bhagavat pada almost thousands of miles away from his birth place he went to narmada unkareshwar there he met the great sage govinda bhagavat pada who has come the unbroken lineage tradition of sages and there this eight old eight year old boy stayed with the sage for two years became a sanyasi as a paramahamsa as an enlightened being he went to kashi started his teaching and in kashi in varanasi he was staying there near manikarnika ghat and every day this young boy acharya you just imagine you the imagination has to come it should become our meditation how will be he looking like he was only 11 years old and radiant with brahma gnana as a paramahamsa sanyasi with all his danda and kamandala from manikarnika every day he will go to ganga take a bath and come back <coughs> so one day when he was coming back there happened an incident some people said when outcast person is coming is a chandala chandala means he eats everything he eats even dog meat actually chandala does not belong to all the four castes he is a mixture of brahmana and some other caste so he contains in in his caste brahmana is also there so he eats everything so people will shrink when he comes they will run away so people said chandala is coming and shankaracharya was just walking there and one person people used to really say shankaracharya himself said move away move away from the chandala but uh, there is another version that 
a person who was walking ahead said to the chandala, move away, Margada Basar. And suddenly the chandala asked, who should move away? The body is jada. It cannot move. <coughs> the inner self is all pervasive. It also cannot move. And if you say, the body is not me, whether it is a Chandala's body or Brahmana's body, it is all made of flesh and blood. The inner self is same in all. It's a very beautiful verse it is. Kim Gangam Buni Bimbidem Baramano Chandala Viti Payaf Purecha Antaramasti Kanchana Ghadi Mritkumbayor Vambare Pratyagvastuni Nistaranga Sahajananda Vabodham Buddha Viproyam Shvapacho Yamityabi Mahan Koyam Vibheda Brahmaha where from this delusion came that this is Brahmana, this is Chandala, Viproyam, Shobajoyam, Ityabi, Mahan, Koyam, Vibheda, Brahma. Only by looking at the body you can say this is a Brahmana, this is a Kshatriya, this is a Vaishya, this is a Shudra. Even by looking at a body you cannot say. One great saint of Kerala, once he was walking, he was going in a train, Another person was sitting near him. His name is Narayana Guru. To him, the other person asked, What is your caste? He asked. And Narayana Guru counter-questioned him. You are seeing me. Uh, what do you feel? He asked. So by seeing, I cannot understand. That is why I am asking you. And Narayana Guru said, if by seeing you cannot understand, how can you understand by saying? <laughs> so, this is just a system to live. But sometimes everything becomes a body identity. It is for dharma only Chaturvarnya is kept. Chaturvarnya maya srishtam gunakarma vibhagasha. So it is for dharma. It is for achara. It is for dharma only. But sometimes it becomes abhimana, sharira abhimana. But for a brahmajnani, there is no caste, there is no body at all. So this chandala is asking the moon in the sky or the sun in the sky, you can see reflection in the pond. Whether it is in, a, in Ganga also, you will see the sun reflected or moon reflected. In dirty water also you will see the moon reflected. In the Chandala's village also there is a pond which others will not use. There also you can see the moon reflected. But the moon is not polluted by this reflection. Kim Gangambuni. Gangambuni means in the water of Ganga. Bimbide Ambaramano. Ambaramani is the sun. It is reflected there. Chandala viti pai of pure cha antaramasti. Kanchana ghati mritkumba yor vambare. You can have water in a mud pot or in a golden pot. The water will reflect the sun, but the real sun has no contact either with the golden pot or with the mud pot. It is ever as it is. Splendor is there. So, viproyam shopachoyam. This is a brahmana, this is a shopacha. Shopacha means one who cooks dog, one who eats dog meat. Koyam vibheda brahmaha. Because the very purpose of Advaita jnana is to remove all duality. You cannot remove duality in vyavahara, but you can remove duality in bhava. Bhavadvaitam sada kuryat, kriyadvaitam na karhichit. Yoga Vasishta says, you cannot go and tell another person, I and you are one, so your bank account is my bank account. <laughs> All of us are same. Nobody, practically it will not work. But Advaita Jnana is for this, that there is neither attachment nor aversion, you see the same self everywhere. 
ब्रह्मभूत प्रसन्नात्मा न सोचति न कामक्षति समस्सर्वेशु भूतेशु मत भक्तिम लभते पराम देन कम्स द सुप्रीम भक्ति दैट परा भक्ति बिकॉज यू सी द सेम सेल्फ इन एवरी वन बाई शास्त्र चक्षु बाई द विशन ऑफ शास्त्र यू नो दैट द सेम आत्मा इज देयर इन एवरी वन सो देर इज नई दर अटैचमेंट नॉर अवर्शन Slowly, with this knowledge, you remove ragadvesha, and the mind remains placid, <coughs> unaffected by all the dwandvas. That is the purpose of this advaita jnana. So here, this chandala is asking why this vibheda brahma, this delusion of this duality, this separation, you should be established in that oneness. You should not forget this. There is a very beautiful story in Swami Vivekananda's life. Before he became famous, after Ramakrishna's samadhi, he was moving about as a parivrajaka, and uh, Swami Ji was in Khetri Maharaja's palace. There, that Raja had great devotion to Swami Vivekananda. So one day he arranged a small girl, a dancing girl, to perform her dance in the sabha. So that girl was, with so much bhakti, was waiting for Swami Ji's presence. And Swami Ji said, "A sannyasi should not watch a girl dancing. I have nothing to do with this." So he just went away from there. He was in the nearby room, so he could hear the music. And this girl, she suddenly felt so. I am a sinner. Um, I thought Swami Ji will be there to see my dance. She wanted to perform with bhakti, so but Swami Ji is not here. And she sang a song of Surdas, Prabhu Ji, Aap to Samadarshi ho. This is the burden of the song. She said. Oh Lord, you are same-sighted. You will not see my sin. You will not look at me as a girl or man or woman or sinner or virtuous person. You will see the same Atma, the same self in everyone. This is the import of the song. The moment Swami Ji heard this, he ran back to the sabha and did a namaskar there. and the girl was beside herself she felt so much delighted so such things can happen you know sometimes you our very problem is forgetfulness we will listen in satsanga that everyone is the same self atman but the moment we go out we will be blessed with forgetfulness next moment you forget gatam gatam sarvam upekshaniyam everything we will forget so in even in great sages you can see a semblance of humanness that is also very beautiful so when this chandala said this shankaracharya looked at him as shiva himself as sakshat vishwanatha and then five verses came from shankaracharya this five verses are so profound and every verse ends with sachandalostu satu dvijostu guru rityesha manisha mama a realized person an enlightened being a gnani whether he is a chandala or brahmana he deserves to be worshiped adored as guru he is an adorable being whether he is a chandala or a brahmana he is my guru guru hu iti esha manisha this is my conviction this is my firm opinion that a teacher there is only one qualification for a vedantic teacher that he should have experienced it shrutriya avrajinah akamatah yo brahmavittamah brahmani uparatah shantah nirindhanaivanalah so he should be shrutriya a brahmanishta he knows the upanishad he knows the vedanta shastra and is established in it 
he knows that i am brahman the i in me is the supreme being he has that experience within him so that is the only qualification if that knowledge is there it does not matter whether he is a brahmana or whether he is a chandala whoever he may be yoga vasishta vasishta tells rama if you hear that there is a great mahatma in a dirty place you go there a place where people will not generally go hmm? varam sharavahastasya chandala garavithishu bikshartha matanam rama na mauhya hata jeevitam even go there with bhiksha patra even if it is a chandala vithi go there and ask for bhiksha jnana bhiksha get enlightened from the teacher so here shankaracharya says the first verse jagrat swapna susupti shu sputataram ya samvidu jrumbate ya brahmaadi pipilikanta tanushuprota jagat sakshini saivaham na cha drishya vastu iti dridha pragnya api yasya asti chet चंडालोस्तु सतुद्विजोस्तु गुरुरित्येषा मनीषा मम द फोर महावाक्य द फर्स्ट महावाक्य इज प्रज्ञान ब्रह्म वॉट इज ब्रह्म द श्रुति सेज इट इज प्रज्ञान इट इज प्युर् कॉन्शियस्नेस द ऋग्वेद महावाक्य इज प्रज्ञान ब्रह्म ब्रह्म इज प्युर् कॉन्शियस्नेस a con the consciousness which shines forth unaffected by duality even in deep sleep every day when we have deep when we go to deep sleep we wake up and say it was sukham happy we are just waiting for that already 8:45 the deep sleep is so inviting because there you are not going to achieve anything you will lose your body you will lose your mind you will lose your ego the entire world vanishes but you prefer that state because there even though the ego the i thought disappears the essence of i the self is shining it is there even though we were not aware of it the mind it takes a dip into that bhuma into that infinity that is why everyone prefers to go there susupti eka siddhah then after waking up says nakinchid avedisham i was not aware to become aware you need listening shravana manana nidhi dhyasana so what is there in that state it is pragnana it is pure consciousness if you sit in a dark room you have the awareness of your own existence you don't need any help from the senses you know i am this i this existence of one's own i is so sure it is all very very simple actually vedanta is very simple the problem with it is it is too simple that is it it is too simple we think bhakti is simple bhakti needs outside something you need belief you have to have faith but here even faith is not called for you don't even need belief you don't even need experience because experience also you have you are sitting here looking at me if 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 you are dead it will not happen something is living within us i i i i what is it it has nothing to do with the body and to, today medical science is giving you all proof by negating they take one every part of the body but the i remains same every limb they remove heart kidney liver every someone's heart is sitting there someone's liver is sitting there 
someone's kidney is sitting there but that person will not come the i is same the experience of consciousness remains changeless and that consciousness it is here sitting if, if you are listening but instead of listening constantly listening every day shravana one day instead of listening your attention will turn towards the listener नेदम यदितमुपासते यत् श्रोत्रेण न श्रुतम् एन श्रोत्रम् इदगुम् श्रुतम् but by that which that which cannot be listened through the ears but the presence of because of its presence the ears are able to listen so by constant shravana on a blessed moment the attention will turn towards the listener who is listening sometimes you know if you get bored with the lecture you can do that you get a clue you don't even know english then this will help you will not be, you are not able to understand then this will help who is listening who is listening who is listening inside who is the listener you stay with this question who is the listener who is looking through these eyes who is listening through these ears if that is not there the dead body will not have it cannot do anything roopam rasam gandham shabda sparsha maituna everything happens because of that so that chit that awareness within it remains changeless it is the changeless principle and shankaracharya says in the waking in the dream in the deep sleep jagrat swapna susuptishu sputatara ya samvidujrumbate such pure vedanta we have to listen very fresh in the morning but usually vedanta is spoken in night <laughs> actually we will meditate on vedanta in night you know this nididhyasane ratro nididhyasanat hmm? the nididhyasana must be done in the night tapon maharaj he says in his biography that daytime full uh, we will be studying in his contemplation he said the evening after evening i will not take any food and the whole night i will spend meditating on the self and soon the triputi rahita chit the chaitanya which is free of all the, the i you he everything removed a pure samadhi happened in the silent hours of night night is very suitable for meditation when all human minds will be sleeping otherwise this clamor is always there it's so clamorous we are not aware but that sound of thoughts are around but in night in the silence you can meditate you listen to vedanta now the only thing that you have to do come without taking food then you will be able to listen ahara shuddha then you will be able to listen and then meditate jagrat swapna susupti susputatara jagrat means waking state swapna means dream susupti means dreamless sleep in all these three states sputa sputatara sputatama shankaracharya says in the waking state also the i is very clear the i which was in the childhood in the infanthood in the childhood in the youth the old age the body constantly is changing the body is constantly changing but that aham bodha the consciousness of i remains changeless and once you hold on to that i you see that in dream also the i is there the body drops off in dream the mind alone operates but the i is there 
you go to sleep. We need not wear this glass to dream. It is very clear. That is why it is called luminous being. Hmm? Taijasa. When you dream, in a dark room you sleep, dream you see in light. And what is that inner light? It is Taijasa, the light of the inner one. And in deep sleep, nothing is seen. There is no seer also. And pure, something strange, fulfilling is there. You have to probe that, that state. And in all these three states, whether the body is there, or the mind is there, or the body and mind is, are not there, I exist. The Sakshi, the Adhishtana is same. Jagrat Swapna Sushupti Shusputatara. We have to take this inside, contemplate, churn within, and pay our attention to that Aham Aham, the I I, the real essence, the implied essence of this I. Ya Samvidu Jrumbade. Samvid means consciousness, it is shining forth. Ya Brahmadi Pipilikanta Tanushuprota. It is pervading right from Brahma to a small ant, to a unicellular organism. Everywhere the I is same. From the greatest God, Brahmadeva, up to a worm, the I, you can see the I. Even in a worm, you can see the I. Take a microscope, look at the worm. It has a two eyes, nose, everything will be there and it will also have an eye and you observe their life in between them also there will be I, you, everything so what is that I? the I, the consciousness shining within hmm? certain beings you know, if you cut them with a lance, they will become two, three that is the way they reproduce there also the eye remains same. It is not half partial eye. The eye is same. So what is this mysterious eye within me? The changeless thing, Ya Brahmadi Pipilikanta Tanushu Prota, Jagat Sakshini, the entire Jagat, the world, is illumined by that inner light. And you probe within Saivaham, that samvit, that chit, that pure awareness is me. Nachadrishya vastu. I am not this body or mind or anything. Iti dridhapragnya piyasyasti se chet. One who has this dridhapragnya, this conviction, this firm pragnya. As we said, the first sloka is pragnyanam brahma. <coughs> so dridhapragnya piyasyasti chet. One who has this dridhapragnya. Chandalostu Sadhudvijostu, whoever he may be, he is the Guru. One who has this knowledge of the Self, knowledge of this Vedanta, one who is established in this, you can go to him and light your lamp. He is like a flame, the fire of knowledge is there with him. He has the experience in him, you can just go and light. You can light your candle from him. Your heart will get illumined by his presence. Don't ask about his caste. Don't ask from which country he is coming. Don't ask whether he is a man or woman. One who knows the self. One who is a self knowledge. Knowledge of the self has arisen in him. He is a guru. He is a master who can teach. You know, there is a beautiful story in Yaneshwara's life. Uh, in, in a scholarly meeting place, they were discussing who is a Brahmana. And Yaneshwara was of course a small boy. He was only eight years old. And he said, one who looks, sees the same Brahman, 
the same self in everyone is a brahmana then one scholar said you can say like that all these vedanta you can talk but see there is a buffalo coming can you say that a buffalo is also brahman <coughs> you can say it is a buffalo is brahman but will the buffalo chant vedas yaneshwara wanted to teach them by performing some miracle so he went to the buffalo and said you chant veda and the buffalo started chanting agrimi ile purohitam yagnasya deva mrutvijam it started and suddenly everyone was wonder struck then yaneshwara said the buffalo it is not a foolish animal it was a very ripe being it said at right time it came inside to get the touch of yaneshwara and the buffalo got illumined and later on when yaneshwara was writing his bhagavad gita yaneshwari every day used to read the portion written to that buffalo and it will just shake its head so an illumined saint is a saint even in an animal body if that jnana has happened it has happened sometimes small children will be jnanis yaneshwara was a small boy jnana sambandha in tamil nadu he was a small boy at 3 and 1/2 years he got illumined in mahabhagavatam we see an elephant gajendra so when that anubhuti has happened don't ask to about the denomination of the person the body he is a sage worship him surrender to him ask for self knowledge you will get it so chandalostu satudvijostu guru hu iti esha manisha mama chandala is the outcast dvija is the twice born the brahmana whether he is a chandala or the twice born sa guru hu he is guru so actually these five verses they are giving the lakshana of guru guru is a jnani that is a simple definition guru means what he knows that he is the self in all he is the he has that sarvatma bhava in him i am everyone i am in all so he is the friend of all he is one with all such a great being he deserves to be he is the guru you also should go and surrender to him so this is guru lakshana also this verses contain vedanta jnana and it also contains guru lakshana this is the real lakshana sign of a guru so jagrat swapna susuptishu sputatara ya samvid ujrumbate that consciousness which shines forth clearly in the waking in the dream the deep sleep state या ब्रह्मादि पिपीलिकांत तनुषु प्रोता दैट कॉन्शियसनेस विच इज सेम राइट फ्रॉम ब्रह्मा अप टू ए एंट एन एंट ए वर्म एवरी वेर इज सेम दैट कॉन्शियसनेस दैट आत्मन दैट इज मी सैवाहम न च दृश्य वस्तु आई एम नॉट दिस सीन आई एम द सीयर द अवेयरनेस इति दृढ़ प्रज्ञा यस्ति चेत वन हु हैज दैट फॉर्म कन्विक्शन चंडालोस्तु लेट हिम बी ए चंडाला सदु द्विजोस्तु लेट हिम बी ए द्विज गुरु हु इति एषा मनीषा मम ही इज द गुरु ही इज द एनलाइट एंड मास्टर ही इज द आचार्य पुरुष ही कैन ट्रांसमिट दिस नॉलेज टू द डिसर्विंग पर्सन गो एंड सरेंडर टू हिम दिस इज द a message of this verse we will see the second verse on the third verse tomorrow aruna ha chala shiva aruna chala shiva aruna chala shiva aruna ha chala aruna chala shiva aruna chala shiva 
अरुणाचल शिव अरुणाचल यतो ममात्मा भवसि तुमेव ततो न वाच्यम मम किंचित अस्ति यथा तवेष्टम कुरुमाम तथैव त्वाम आत्मनाथम् रमणम् भजा